Welcome back to This Week in Agribusiness. As harvest gets underway across the Corn Belt, it's a great time for farmers to evaluate how the practices they changed on their operation impacted their yield. Max had a chance to visit with Andy Cap of Clarksville, Missouri in our latest Plant Smart Grow Smart installment and see just how his plant health program changed his yield. <music> acreage deer farm altogether? We planted a little over 3,000 acres. All corn and beans? Corn and soybeans. That keeps you busy, doesn't yeah, it? That keeps me busy. <laughs> How would you characterize your uh, disease pressure here? As you've perceived it over the years, uh, has it been noticeable to you? Our disease pressure is noticeable, but it's not immense. Um, frog eye leaf spot is probably our main culprit in soybeans. Several things we'll pick on and work on our corn yield, but it's really, it's not predictable and it's not significant, but we're, with these products, we're still able to increase our total farm average, increase the yield averages on the fields that we're using. And then we'll hit one year out of four where it's extremely beneficial. What fungicides have you used, Andy? And, and share with us uh, the results that you've seen then. So Veltima and Revitec are the, the, the two that were mainly focused on this year and probably three years of history with them just to see if they were replacing what we were using in the past. You were easing into it a little Correct. bit. Correct. And that that's probably my tendency to to just come in and, and make something prove or earn its way onto the farm. Do you try to stay flexible a little bit, never knowing what a growing season is going to present to you? You never know what you're going to run into at planting, for example? No doubt that farming is flexible. I have a good plan when we start and, and build that during the winter, but you need to flex and move and be adaptable and ready to, ready to make changes and, and then figure out which changes are going to work the best. Was there a, an aha moment, as they would put it, uh, when, when that light bulb went on, you said, oh, wait a minute here. So 2014 comes to mind. Um, we had late season. Uh, northern corn leaf blight came into fields that where application didn't get into the corners and just where you had a strip or a light place where application didn't hit it, corn yield was affected significantly. Looking at the crops at, at this stage, prior to this, this harvest of 2021, can you see, visibly see in your mind uh, that there's that, that plant health that you want to achieve? Can you, can you tell a difference? When you get in and look at the leaf health, get in and, and just really look at the plant health, it looks good. Um, soybeans, the color and the vigor in them looks excellent and we're very pleased. We'll, we'll hope we can gather another rain or two before they're done filling, but looks like a very good crop. Thank you, Max, for that update. And if any of you want to learn more or see the rest of the PlanSmart GrowSmart series from BASF, visit PlanSmartGrowSmart.com.